So then we are back with a modern understanding from the time of the second tabernacle services are refined in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yerushiahu the prophet. Then we find a layer of understanding of the 61st chapter where then the original manuscript states and then divulges the uh, spring feast, autumn feast, and also the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries. And then these days where then the governments are making their adjustments as far as, as lining up themselves with the time of the trade of the end, we must then understand a factor of today was found then a new Megillah of the uh, Hebrews. It was then American Online, first page. They found this so named new Megillah of the Torah. And let's make sure then people scrutinize this piece absolutely via then the layers of understanding and understanding from the Messiah. So then we can obviously maintain the originality of the recordings. As far as we can understand, there are lots of taka notes and those must be eliminated such as Sarah then throwing out the first son. It was a lie. She never did. The first son was treated very nicely because he is mentioned in the 62nd chapter of Yerushiahu. So then the Hebrews also scandalized the 62nd chapter. The 61st chapter speaks of the stick of authority of tabernacling. The 62nd chapter reveals the first son, Yishmael. So then let's understand Hebrews during the time of the service did not use turbans. They used a veil. Then the American archaeologist Ron found then in 82 the cave where the holy articles were stored at. There was no inventory of the clothing because never existed. So the clothing, effort and those jewels that you know so much made it up. The Messiah was using the clothing of the priest. A simple garment, a piece, then he was using sandal, and obviously a belt. So then let's understand very precisely what this new so named Megillah found so people don't get mesmerized during this time of the dragon and the restoration period. The returning of the cities of the Messiah laid away for many centuries. So then there was a reason why an American found these holy instructions as far as we understand as the inventory from the time of Yermiahu where then he stored the forever for a time. So then with this in mind then the instructions must be updated. Sarah did not throw out the first son. She did not come up with the schemes. She was very exemplary. Then the first son came, he was treated as a king, and he started his freighting company. Sometime later, then, tabernacling was established, and then via Yitzhak. Then another problem is that with the wife of Yaakov. She never came up with gold skins and blah blah blah. It was made it up. Yaakov simply mentioned many areas then during his time where we must study also and make sure we find no taka note mixed with it. So Yitzhak then and his wife also never had schemes. She was exemplary also. There was no situation of goat skin and lies and cheating in the midst of a tent in the presence of the patriarch. Does not make any sense? So these scoundrel Jews decided then 
to place a Taka note in the midst of the instructions in people they are reading crap for so long. But the problem is the holy cities are returning and they must have a copy of it intact. So let's make sure we understand this new Megillah found strangely. But if it starts with bare sheet and then wife throwing out the first son, forget it. Then it's a junkie. Read the old legitimate manuscripts. It's mesmerization of the people. Just be sure of it.